The second quarter was another strong quarter from AK. We had double digit profit growth. We were also delivering on our management ambition. Looking into the business area, the largest business area of food ingredients had an impressive 14% year over year improvement in operating profit, with a particular good improvement in dairy, bakery, and food service from a regional point of view. US, Northern Latin America, and Southern Latin America were the strongest ones. Looking into chocolate and confectionery fats, we saw a more stable quarter. That was expected due to the yield challenges we have now faced for some time. We expect to have that behind us by year end. Technical products and feed, the smallest business area, reported 9% year over year improvement despite a very strong last year. The impact from the lower raw material prices is that it will impact our sales line, but it will have no impact on our profitability. And I will explain why. It's because we have a back-to-back -back risk management. We hedge our sales contract and we are hedging our purchase contract, either with physical deliveries from the suppliers or with financial instrument. The impact you will see from a financial point of view will only be in the cash flow you will see a lower value on the inventory, on the receivables, but that of course will be partly offset with lower payables. We have during the second quarter launched two very interesting new solutions. The first one is EcoPlanet, which is our umbrella for plant-based solutions. And here we are doing solutions going into dairy and meat as plant-based alternatives. It's clearly an area where we have seen good growth over some time, but it's also definitely an area where we expect to see strong growth for the future. The other solution is Kubal Pure, which is chocolate solution, reducing bloom and also increasing shelf life for our chocolate customers.